the new graduate. You have five minutes to convince me that you're worth my time. I have your resume. Tell me something that's not in there. Is your writing style also as bland and cliché? So, I take it you got the job in Magna City. Is there anything I can say to change your mind? Stay here. They've got a great local publishing... You got everything? Warm clothes, pepper spray, and some snacks for the train? <sighs> Listen, sweetheart. I know you were excited about your new job. And I'm happy that you're happy. It's just... Be very, very careful, will you? Magnus isn't like here. It's dangerous. I can't have what happened to your father happen to you again. It wasn't just some accident. It was a stupid prophecy. Odyssey. I meant Odyssey. The car that killed him was an Odyssey. The train is here, honey. Remember to call me often, okay? One step closer to completing the lunar fragments.
the future woman in the arts needs revising. It's dull. Oh, Luca decided to show up at 9.15. I have arranged a meeting with director Charlotte Ramsey next week. Kathy, why don't you go and... Talking to yourself, are you? Such a typical rookie. I'm Travis, senior journalist and your assigned mentor. Boss, you do as I tell you. Capiche? Page has got no time for trivials like you. Especially ones who can't even show up on time for their first day of work. Now, your first task, pick up Page's nightgown for Friday's benefit. Here's the shop address. And while you're at it, send my shirts to dry cleaning. It's just several blocks away. Excuse me? Dream on, my dear. Now, off to the shops. Chop, chop. The world needs journalists more than ever before. In an age of information overload, fake news, and polarization, journalism is a beacon of truth, a defender of democracy, and a champion of human rights. So, future journalists, make a difference in the world. Call me Gabriel. I'm not technically a professor here, just a visiting lecturer. Thank you. What's your name? You don't seem like a student here.
I can definitely see that. Something tells me you and I have something in common. You flatter me again, miss? Sometimes you find the most interesting stories where you least expect them. Or even in a university lecture hall. Pleasure to meet you. I expect to be seeing your name featured in Mosaic's next piece very soon. You're staying? It's your first day. Travis gave you those bullshit tasks, didn't he? Want me to have a word with him? No problem. And seriously, that outfit looks stunning on you, girl. Don't let Travis get to you. We're all glad to have you here. See you tomorrow. I'm so sorry. The event yesterday went on way longer than expected. 
and I had to take care of some unfinished business with the caterer. Of course. Don't worry. You might just be a junior staff writer now, but you'll work your way up before you know it. Yeah, I got your texts. If he gets out of line, report him. Workplace bullying is not to be tolerated. You're here now, okay? You finally got away from that small-minded town and your mom. Are you just gonna let some jerk ruin it for you? Is that clear? Good. Get back to work. Do you think you are doing? Get back to your seat. I am so sorry, Paige. I should have taught her better. Honestly, her social graces are on par with a slobbering dog. No, it's fine. Continue. Since you seem so eager to get your hands dirty wilds, this museum store can be your mud pit. What? But Paige, I've already had tasks arranged for her. Those can wait. Now everyone back to work. Yes, but that's actually not the most curious part. Not to me. Granted, it's a 14th century antique. But the pendant owner was an ordinary woman living in France. Nothing special about her whatsoever. The museum is full of objects much older or owned by historical figures. The pendant's value wouldn't even make the top 100. So, my question is... Why was a thief with such uncanny skills interested in something with no value? Who's there? Miss Wilds? I thought you left. Take your time. I've got another hour for my shift. Not a problem.
You're a bold one, but I'd keep my nose out of my business if I were you. Who are you, and what do you want? Are you looking for this? Are you the owner? Then you should leave. I was in the middle of something. What did you just say? What do you know about the lunar fragments? Who are you?
Maybe. Good, you noticed. You're in no position to bargain. Do you want to leave this place unarmed? You'll answer my questions. Wilds. No, I didn't go to a kindergarten. True, but then my secret will stay secret if you are dead. Alright, you win, Wilds. My name is Matthias. Don't bother looking me up online. You won't find anything. I'm not a thief. I took the pendant because I needed it for something important. Your turn now, Wilds. A deal is a deal. You dreamed about them. So basically, you had a dream about me. Then why didn't you call the police tonight? Oh, you knew you'd run into me. Something in you was curious. For a magic user, you're an odd one. What coven do you belong to? I wouldn't be so sure. Take care of yourself, Wilds. The next wizard you meet may not be so understanding. <laughs> 